for the past 52 weeks actually amazon stock has been beaten and tech stocks in general and now you look at the you know uh, amazon stock chart you're like i think is in a really good valuation at this moment i mean you can wait for a little bit see if he's gonna uh, fall more or is gonna rebound and fall more but in general consensus is uh amazon at this point is really um on a discount you know it's a, it's a cheap Right. So before buying Amazon stock, though, uh, I want you to watch this video and see instead of you buying Amazon, where you're just going to have a growth without having any dividends. I'm going to talk about this fund where you can invest your money on Amazon stock at the same time you're receiving yield, very compelling yield. So if you stick around and by the way, this is it's really also great for uh, investors uh, who are investing in this uh, covered call ETFs. That I've been talking about, and you can check a link uh, link below in my other videos. I've talked about uh, type of other ETFs that pay monthly uh, income. So passive income investors love these type of funds. Um, you can also add this into your portfolio to uh, to have that broader diversification. So now let's look at this fund, and this fund is um, the Poppers Investments. Uh, Poppers Investment is uh, the company that uh, manage this uh, type of funds um and the equity name is of course is amazon amzn yield share poppers etf so today we're going to look at uh, overview uh, portfolio breakdown performance and distribution and i'm going to give you my take on this fund uh, by the way if it's the first time just make sure you subscribe because on this channel i talk a lot about this type of cover call etfs and investing in general and also, if you like this video, please make sure you like and I would appreciate if you can share with someone you love so they can also receive the passive income. All right, let's go. Uh, purpose of this fund, right? Um, the purpose of this fund first is maximize yield from holding Amazon share by using covered call strategy and moderate leverage. So not only they use cover call, but also they use some leverage to up the yield that they're going to pay. Uh, or the purpose of this also, why would you invest in this? The reason why you're going to invest in this, uh, earn an attractive monthly yield for, uh, from cover call strategy 50% and moderate leverage 25% while staying invested in Amazon. So they do, um, so this 50%, let me explain it. So 50% means they actually write a call so they'll buy amazon share they say for example 100 shares for example right they're going to take a 50 of those shares a right call on those shares uh covered call and they're going to keep 50 shares for growth i'm just giving 50 very small number of course this is a big company and there's a lot of money there's going to be a million of shares right or thousands of shares right um so that's a good because that strategy allows this fund to capture the growth of amazon but at the same time, they're using the cover call, uh, sell and buying to generate the monthly income. And also they use 25% leverage to lever, uh, you know, uh, whenever you, of course, use lever, you, um, you tend to uh, make money with that, you know, uh, if everything goes well, though. Um, participate in long-term growth opportunity of an Amazon share, as I've explained. Um, benefit from tax efficient yield, uh, the way they... Uh, they they, they uh, return those dividends they make sure it's more efficient for people who are investing in uh, taxable accounts uh, stay protected from current risk um, the, the the current risk means uh, because in seed for you for example this fund is actually a Canadian fund so it's uh, really suitable for people who live in Canada um, so you want to buy Amazon stock, of course, trade on a stock, uh, New York stock exchange, and you have to use your American, uh, dollar. So you have Canadian dollar. You have to buy that with your American dollar. So you have to exchange. And of course, if you exchange it higher and then the dollar falls and you want to exchange back, that means your money, um, it's, you have less money right now than when you bought the dollar when it was higher. So that's why I say protect it from current risk because you're buying Canadian dollar, you don't have to exchange anything. So that's the thing. And we look at the Nicholas Merck, these are the portfolio managers. Um, we, we're going to look at the distribution. Look at the distribution here is about 964, so about 10%. It fluctuates between 9, depends on the price. 
uh, management fee is 40 and asset under management management right now is about 8 million uh, it's a small fund um, nav net asset value or the price at this time is like 24.90 uh, uh, portfolio breakdown we can look at portfolio breakdown so we look at the portfolio breakdown equity um, equity underlying put options zero call option these are the technical of how we ready call but the most thing we the, the important thing here we're looking at uh underlying equity look at this it's only one because they're writing call on only one stock which is amazon so one right there and then all these are calls and uh, technical we don't really need to know those numbers um we look at performance and distribution because we're investing this uh, we invest we're investing in this for dividends so we look at the performance and distribution of course performance for this series cannot be displayed until first one year after inception date which was uh 19 12 2022 so it came out on november uh, december 19 2022 so based on the uh, canadian uh, and exchange security uh, so pretty much based on the rules of um, from the government, you cannot display uh, any performance of any fund in Canada uh, if that fund has not matured to one year. So after one year, of course, December of this year, we'll be able to know the performance of that. And we can also compare. On this channel, I talk about, I do a lot of comparison. So if you're going to be around and stick around and be a subscriber, I'm going to compare between this fund and amazon itself and we see which fund is best to invest your money going forward uh we look at the dividends uh look at the distribution history they've been paying dividends it's pretty much 20 look at this it's 20 cents it's a pretty re i like to see this one uh because they are very consistent and which is i really like this uh so they've been paying within this uh one two three four five within these five months uh, they've been paying consist consistently uh, 20 cents and last uh, dividend was uh paid it may 5th uh which was just a couple days ago uh, five days ago so um I look at the documents if you want to read more uh document there's a uh, prospectus this it will tell you the details of how they do all that stuff if you go on the website uh, purposeinvest.com so there you have it um i really wanted to uh, talk about this fund to make sure you are aware that you can invest in Amazon stock and mean meantime getting that 10% dividend yield uh, to summarize I really like this fund for uh, maybe three reasons one is because they do right call only 50% of positions and then they leave 50% for growth they use leverage a little bit of 20 uh, 25% for uh, enhance the uh, dividend and they pay monthly dividend which is uh, also those payments have been consistently those reason reason are uh, very compelling reason for me to want to invest in this fund so what do you think about this fund thank you very much for watching make sure you like subscribe till good again bye bye